everybody, I'm Jimmy Rainsford. I'm here at Drumeo, and I just want to show you a quick snare tuning tip that I have always done when I'm in the studio. Uh, it helps a lot uh, to do with getting a fat snare sound. Um, so let's do the first thing. First things first, let's turn the snare over. And you want to tune the bottom head as tight, as tight as possible, okay? So make sure the bottom head is really cranked up. Tune it opposite lugs. Okay, and I'm talking like as tight as you can get. And the reason I'm doing this is because you want to get the best response out of the snare wires in any situation. You could do anything with the other head and it will still sound fine. You just need the bottom head to be, um, to be as sensitive as possible to the snares. So let's turn it back over. Okay. Now, as well on the top head, get all of the lugs pretty much similar tension. You know, tap around. Okay, even just feeding them with the drum key, they're all pretty much the same. Okay, now, this might seem a bit crazy, but if you were to have the snare head with one lug directly on top, one on bottom, take the one closest towards you and tune it loose. Tune it all the way loose. And the next two beside it, Tune them halfway loose as well. Dropped my drumio drum key, by the way. Okay, so tune them down. Already you can hear the pitch of the snare going way down. Okay, now you can hear a bit of overtone. The side lugs I'd always consider to be tone lugs, so just bring them down slightly. Keep the top the exactly the same tension. Now remember, this bottom one is completely loose. Okay. Just loosen these a tiny bit more. Now, moon gel. If you have moon gel, put it on. If you can do it without it, do. I usually put it right around here. You can actually feel the drum skin is wrinkled right down here. There's two spots that I'd usually put it. One's here, one here, or one right underneath the mic. And you can hear that, that fat snare sound straight away. Sounds huge, it sounds big, it sounds fat. You can put the moon gel up here either. That's a great tip that I've always used in the studio. It's the first thing I do when I'm tuning my snare drum. I will drop that, that low loose and it just makes the snare sound a lot fatter, a lot easier to deal with in terms of um, someone mixing or someone uh, miking. Um, it kills a lot of overtones and it makes the snare sound a little bit fatter. So um, I hope you can take this tip in case you're ever recording or using it live um, and have some fun with it. And if you like this video, uh, click the link below to Dromeo Edge where there's a 30 day free trial and you can see loads more videos I do. I've, I've done a course and I have a lot more um, content on there. So please go check it out. Thanks.